In the cold emptiness of interstellar space, almost 12 billion miles away, a faint signal returned to Earth. At first, it looked routine. Just another weak transmission from Voyager 2, humanity's messenger, launched in 1977. But what scientists found hidden within that signal would change everything. For decades, Voyager 2 has drifted silently, carrying its golden record, a message of Earth's existence, beyond the solar system. It was built to last only a few years, yet against all odds, it continues to whisper from the edge of eternity. But in its most recent transmission, NASA detected something impossible. Buried beneath the usual data, a faint irregular pulse emerged. At first, engineers thought it was interference, cosmic static from deep space. But when the signal was cleaned, patterns emerged, rhythmic, structured, not random. Voyager 2 had never sent anything like this before. NASA's deep space network scrambled to analyze the data. The transmission carried unusual spikes in frequency, forming a mathematical sequence, ratios of pi, square roots, golden spirals, nature's universal language. But this wasn't just math, it was a message. The shocking part? The signal wasn't programmed. Voyager 2 was never designed to generate or send such patterns on its own. Something, or someone, had altered its transmission. As this realization spread, fear grew. If the signal wasn't human-made, then Voyager 2 had encountered something in the dark, a presence capable of using our own spacecraft to talk back. The discovery was classified, but leaks spread quickly. Online forums erupted. Was this first contact? A warning? Or proof that Voyager 2 was no longer ours? One NASA scientist whispered to a reporter, We didn't discover something. Something discovered us. And with that, the world stopped. For days, the mysterious transmission was locked inside secure servers. Teams of linguists, mathematicians, and computer scientists worked without rest. What they decoded was more terrifying than anyone imagined. The hidden layer contained three distinct sections. One, a map of our solar system, every planet marked, but one stood out, Earth circled in bright emphasis. Two, a sequence of numbers, at first thought to be coordinates, but when aligned with time intervals, it became clear it was a countdown. And three, a waveform, a haunting audio pattern resembling a low-frequency hum repeating endlessly. The countdown didn't measure years, not even months. It measured days. Whispers spread across research labs. Something is coming. But coming from where? And why use Voyager 2 to warn us? As the decoding continued, an even stranger detail emerged. The signal's structure was not random. It was intelligently compressed. That level of compression was beyond Voyager's 1970s technology, meaning the message didn't originate from the spacecraft. Voyager was simply the messenger. The chilling implication? Voyager 2 had been intercepted, hijacked, used as a relay. Around the world, speculation grew. Amateur astronomers claimed to spot unusual objects near the Kuiper Belt. Military radars picked up faint signatures, dismissed as glitches, but together they painted a single terrifying picture. Something massive was moving and heading inward. Publicly, NASA downplayed the rumors. They blamed solar interference, faulty instruments, data corruption. But behind the scenes, governments prepared. Defense departments went on high alert. Satellites were repositioned. And yet, they knew there was nothing humanity could do. Because this wasn't a warning from Earth to space. This was a response. And the countdown was running out. As the countdown neared zero, humanity entered a silence it had never known. Wars paused, markets froze, billions stared at the skies, waiting. Every hour, new rumors spread, 
Some claimed a giant object had already entered our solar system. Others swore governments were hiding proof of alien contact. But one fact remained undeniable. Voyager 2's final message had united the planet in fear. On the last day of the countdown, something extraordinary happened. Voyager 2 transmitted again. Against all odds, the decades-old probe sent one more signal. Not telemetry, not static, but a final image. When decoded, the picture sent shock waves across every research lab. It showed the blackness of deep space, but in the center was a shadow. Vast, geometric, not a rock, not an asteroid, a structure. It was moving, and it wasn't drifting aimlessly. It was coming closer. The world erupted. Some fell to their knees, praying. Others celebrated, convinced this was proof we were not alone. But the truth was unavoidable. Something out there had answered. And then, at the exact moment the countdown ended, Voyager 2 went silent. Forever. No more signals. No more whispers from the dark. Just silence. The world stopped, not because of destruction, but because every human on Earth now knew we are not alone. Something far older, far greater, had reached back across the stars, and it had chosen to reveal itself through Voyager 2. The golden record, the music of Earth, our greetings to the cosmos, had been answered. But by whom? And what did they want? As the skies remained quiet, humanity stood on the edge of history. Voyager 2's hidden transmission hadn't brought death. It had brought something far more powerful. The truth. And that truth would haunt and define our future forever.